Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. Let's get right into today's daily fresh tarot card reading. It is May the 6th, 2020. It is the first Monday of 2020. So we it is Monday, moon day. However, we've got the full moon coming in at the end of the week. So let's get it in. Drum roll, please. Now, we have got the six of swords as our card for today, and we have the full card as our clarifier. Now, we have the six of swords in reverse as our card for today. So, what is the divine, the source, the spirit guide saying to us today? Now, keep in mind that this is a general reading. It is not a individualized reading so it may or may not resonate with you keep in mind if you follow the channel on a daily basis you will see that all of the readings tie in together and it does flow with the astrological forecast and it always touches some part of you so stay tuned and listen to the whole reading in its entirety now with this six of swords in reverse we're being pushed you're being pushed out of your comfort zone okay and being pushed out of your comfort zone is a part of life. So it's okay <laughs> to be pushed outside of your comfort zone, all right? And you feel a little reluctant um, to do so and holding back. Um, and it, because it feels very uh, discomforting, okay? So there's a lot of discomfort when you're pushed out of your comfort zone and doing something that's a little different. Even per Feeling it being projected on you to move outside of your comfort zone. You can feel those little butterflies and different things inside of us. It's like, wait a minute, that's uncomfortable. But it's okay because it's a time to get uncomfortable and to expand your horizons. But with our full card as our clarifier for today, you are called, you know, from your heart to trust the universe. Trust that, trust yourself. All right, trust the universe that it is moving to expand. Um, there is expansion for you, and we have to just trust this movement. All right, and trust the universe, trust your intuition, and it is also flowing in the areas of jobs, um, increase in responsibilities that are happening. Happening, there's a shift in more responsibilities. Even in volunteering your time and interning or volunteering to increase your knowledge of bringing yourself out of a discomfort. Because sometimes to get yourself in a higher position and you have to give time, uh, that's not something that's the norm in today's society. But it is a way to grow yourself as an intern or someone that's volunteering in the area to understand more about it and to add it into your resume and into your repertoire. So this is a wonderful uh, time of expansion and tying into this uh, vibration of goals and, and um, focus and sifting off things as Capricorn likes us to get firm and understanding along with Jupiter being in this Capricorn of expansion and knowledge and understanding. So you see the astrological um, forecast, meaning the galactic center that surrounds the earth ties in and play into some decisions and pushes into our spirits, which we are spiritual beings living in a human experience. Now, with us getting into um, the astrological forecast, looking at my notes, um, we the beginning of this week, which is today, we have the moon and the sign of Taurus, okay? And it's a wonderful grounding placement right now for her, which is Taurus. Um, this will encourage us to get back to the other things we love and value that are not holiday related. So now we're moving out of that energy of the holidays. So early in the morning, the moon will make an easy connection with Saturn and Pluto. Now keep in mind, Saturn and Pluto is in a conjunctive um, square right now. Okay. So we've got a lot of transits going on. So I love this transit, you know, between the moon and Saturn and Pluto because it gives us a chance, uh, gives us a chance if we can pay attention to see what we truly value. And, and we're going to see that flow throughout the week as well. Even though today's 
energy is that, but it does carry on. So if you do med do meditation, which magic magical practitioners here, welcome North Node Tribe and those that are new to the channel. We do meditation and we do take time in our sacred space. So even if you don't, I clearly recommend if you're new to the channel or you're new to the practice, you should make sure that you are doing some form of meditation or prayer first thing in the morning, which is what we're spoken of. Those that that is prayer. Set your intentions and visualize uh, using gratitude and thankfulness for all of the big and little things that are in your life. So. These are some very simplistic things that we can do on a daily basis that we should be doing on a daily basis. Or if you've gotten out of the rhythm rhythm of doing so, go on and implement it and put it back into your rhythm, okay? And on that note, click that wiggly bell down below, ding dong ding, to make sure you're getting the daily fresh tarot card reading that comes to you on a daily basis. Make sure that you click the bell with the lines around it so that you can get it on a daily basis. If you just click subscribe, you won't get the daily fresh tarot card reads and other things that we do all the time in this channel. This is a beautiful channel that has a lot of things that we're growing into this 2020. 19 has grown and grown us. 2020 is catapulting us into multiplication and increase. All right. So don't forget to schedule your intuitive readings for the new year, for this month, and things that are, are on your heart from your past, present, and future, or things that you need to get a leg up on so you'll know what to do with this first quarter of 2020, which is good good timing to plan and navigate you know not to fly by the seat of our pants don't be afraid to get your readings um some of you have not gotten your readings thus far i haven't scheduled your appointments we do them on appointment basis only unless there is extreme emergency and we do try to accommodate okay so also don't forget that we offer conjure work that will change your life in every single area of your life because you are a spiritual being living in an earthly experience in a human form <laughs> extraterrestrial as we like to say over here and saying that uh, and we have some really great goodies a psa coming up we do have our book club yay if you follow on instagram please do so and follow us on the gram and twitter you see i did post up a book that I have selected for us and that my nose is starting to rub. That's our angels. My angels that tickle my nose. You'll see me do that. That's them. It feels like a feather. Um, we are starting our book club. We were talking about it and we're, now we're getting ready to launch it. Um, so we will. I will get more into a video on this launch of our book club. It's North Node Book Club. Welcome new subscribers in North Node. This is to take us into another level of understanding. It is not for newbies, just newbies. It's for novice and advanced. I will not be focusing on novice, I'm sorry, not novice, but basic things. We will be catapulting more into more depth things, okay? So this book club will be very important to us as we grow into our practice and we need to, you need to be more intuitive and working in this area of magical practitioner. So we'll be getting started on that. It will be connected to our Patreon account. So if you see the Patreon account listed in the description box down below or an about page, go on ahead and start um, becoming a member of our Patreon account as well. Um, that's a new thing coming in, our book club and our Patreon account. A lot of North Node has been asking me about putting that up. Well, we've got it. So you know that we do a lot of great things in this channel. And on that note, I love you for watching today. Don't forget to dig deep and trust and believe in yourself. Who? Believe in yourself first, always. I love you for watching. Keep it productive and not just busy. See you next time. Bye-bye.